Okay, hi. Welcome to the Worldviews and Ethics course. I thought I would do this podcast to welcome you to the course and orient you to what we'll be doing for the next nine weeks. I plan and hope to do a podcast, a short podcast every week, just to check in with you guys. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the weekly conference calls as well. You'll notice from the outline and from the course itself that this course isn't linear. It kind of goes around in circles because everything, when we're talking about worldviews and ethics, is sort of woven together. That ethics arise from worldviews, worldviews inform ethics. The boundaries of the units aren't particularly rigid, so they're quite porous. So some of the readings that are in one week, you kind of might think, well, those could have applied equally to another week, and that's absolutely the case. So I've tried to spread out the readings in a way that I thought would make sense to you and not overwhelm in any particular week. If you see me kind of zone out zombie-like in, in this podcast, it's because I'm checking my notes on the screen to make sure that I cover things as we go along. So there are three threads in the course as we explore worldviews and ethics. One is your own introspection, your own self-examination. Sometimes I'll refer to it as meditation, other times as self-exploration. And there's two parts to that. Part of it is actually really deeply thinking about and reflecting on your own thoughts, your, the readings, your conversations with others. But another really important part is to quiet the mind, to still the mind by tracking the breathing, and you'll see that in the instructions that are on the website, and allow insights that you normally wouldn't necessarily think of to arise from a quiet mind. And this requires patience, because stilling the mind is taking you beyond the domain of rational thought, and to allow new insights, new perceptions, and perhaps a new worldview, a more expansive worldview to arise. So we'll begin each of the weekly conference calls with 15 minutes of just sitting quietly together and reflecting to create a platform for our conversations. With luck, the course will trigger a lot of great questions for you uh, as you discuss with your teammates, as you reflect, as you read. Unfortunately, I don't have any sure answers to any of these questions. I'm still exploring myself. So for me, this course is also a great exploration. This is the first year I'll be teaching it. I've just designed the web uh, site, the course, with Deanne Turnbull Loverock, who's just been a brilliant co-creator in, in the website. But we think we've gotten the bugs out of it. But as it's the first time, I'm not sure. So if you find any glitches, things that are confusing, please tell me immediately so I can go in and fix stuff, okay? In the same vein, I have a kind of a twisted sense of humor sometimes, especially late at night. So my intention in this course is to open windows of possibilities, not to tell you what's right or wrong or what you should or shouldn't think or believe, but to present as many different perspectives as I can and invite you to reflect and to think deeply on your own blind spots, on your own unfounded certainties. This process can sometimes be uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable for me still after all the years I've been working on it. So if at any time in the course <clears throat> you feel that I've disrespected you, excuse me, <clears throat> please don't sit on it. Or send me an email. Let me know right away because it's not my intention to disrespect you even when I'm teasing. It's not my intention to be disrespectful or to hurt your feelings. It's my intention to invite you to explore deeply these ideas and your own understandings of the world and to challenge yourself to step into the unknown and into the mysterious aspects of our existence. And we're in this together. It's not like I've got it figured out and I'm kind of teaching you I'm a guide and a facilitator, and we're going to co-create this experience together. And so how the course works out will depend on all of us. So if you participate more fully, then everything will work better. So 
I invite you to jump right in and participate as fully as you can. Um, let's see. Okay, so as some of you already know, so let me introduce myself to the non-Meek students. I've met the Meek students at last summer's residency briefly. You know a bit about me. For non-Meek students, we've met just briefly um, in our exchange of setting up the conference call schedule. My name is Bob Cull, and I have a PhD from University of British Columbia in interdisciplinary studies. For my research into the the effects of deep wilderness solitude. I went to live in the wilderness for a year and I documented that experience in a journal. Then I wrote my dissertation as a narrative about that experience. And there were two bottom lines with my committee when I was setting up the research. One was that I would bring all of myself into the research, the spiritual, the emotional, the psychological, and the physical, not just the intellectual, and that I would live alone for a year in the wilderness. And so that was the ground of what I was doing in my research. It's the ground also of what I invite you to do in this course. It's not just an intellectual course. All of you is welcome. All aspects of who you are are welcome in this course, no matter how you're feeling. If you're feeling grumpy, if you think the course is stupid, if you think the ideas are stupid, or if you think it's all brilliant and wonderful, all of that is welcome in the course. You don't have to leave any part of yourself out. So please just keep that in mind as we travel through this together. Um, oh dear, I have to pause here. <laughs> 